two headliners hit the stage for one night only. Wednesday, July 10th at the Coach House Concert Hall in San Juan Capistrano. Jim Taylor presents He's a Little Bit Country and He's a Little Bit Rock and Roll. Kenny Bob Davis. He's a registered sex symbol. Well, I'm still a sex symbol for girls that don't care anymore. I mean... <laughs> Kenny Bob Davis has toured with Vince Gill and Willie Nelson. He's a little bit country. But I looked at her and she looked at me and there's that bonding that drunken losers have when they know they're going to go to the Waffle House in just a few minutes. Get a stack of eggs and some pancakes and then get after it. I looked at her and I said something like, I thought things like, you're the most beautiful girl I ever met at the buffet, but what came out was, eh. And she looked at me and said, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I left the bar with Bo Derek and woke up with Bo Diddley. Pete George impression of uh, Kermit the Frog singing for Green Day. Sylvester the cat, he was great too, because every so often he'd bring his kitty son on the show. Remember Junior? Remember him? He's like, father, oh, father, oh, father. <laughs> My dad hated when I did that in public. He's a musical trailblazer. Over 7,000 shows all over the world, and he keeps rocking the funny bone. But see, I came up with a new kind of music where you combine heavy metal and polka. <laughs> Polka metal. Can you see that metal bands going around the country playing polka music? Like Megadeski. And Ozzy Osbornski. My favorite though would be, ladies and gentlemen, Aski Deski. She was a fast machine, she kept her oven clean. She made the best damn pierogies that I've ever seen. She had cataracts in her eyes, her body was double size. She was knocking me out with those Hungarian thighs. Mm. 